What is up, second channel? Cletus to McFarland channel. Today, we got a couple things for you. First thing is, any order on the website that's over $20 for the next couple hours, it might not even be a full 24 hours, we're giving away a free bog deep keychain. We just got these in and we figured we'd do a giveaway with them to get them out there. But the other thing is, the main thesis of this video, we have been wanting to do a Mopar project eventually. Not right now, but it's been requested by all of you because we got Ford, we got Chevy. Next thing is Mopar. And we were just all kind of sitting around talking the most freaking awesome project. Oh, and don't pay attention to any of this Ruby stuff. It's top secret info for a future video. We were kind of talking the other, like Sunday morning, we had a group text just fired up. If we're gonna do a Mopar project, we wanna do a Superbird or a Daytona edition charger, like an old one, 69 or 70. So, we want your guys' help tracking something down. Now, we know an original car is, you know, 150, 200 thousand dollars. That's out of the question. But if we can find a good donor charger or a good donor uh, Roadrunner, then we would we'd buy it and we you know build our own Superbird Daytona which I know isn't as cool as having an original obviously but we can't just buy a $200,000 yeah, project car the Leon and the yeah. Swab or yeah, whatever yeah exactly you know, but we have yeah. some really cool ideas for a Mopar engine for it too so I don't I don't want to get into that yet because I know you guys will probably figure it out anyway but we want your guys help and this is important so please listen do not send us eBay links and Google links to these cars that we're talking about. The only help we need is from somebody who may know of an actual car that is in storage or a car that they own or their neighbor owns or their buddy owns and has a reasonable way to contact the owner of said car. Some please small town sitting don't, on the side yeah, of the road. Exactly. Some small town sitting on the side of the road. Please don't spam our inbox, our email, pleasemcfarland at gmail.com with uh, just links because we already kind of scoured the internet for them. We're looking for people who might own a Roadrunner or Charger in the year we're talking about, who would sell it to us, who could you know help us set up transport, actually get us a car. And uh, if you guys you know help us find something, that would help get the project in motion. But gang guys, don't just send us BS links. We're trying to do a real deal with someone who actually has them the thing we're looking for so it's some some cool to think about you know, 68 to 71 plymouth roadrunner or dodge charger is that the year okay that's the year and also i mean shoot if you know of any parts off of a superbird or a daytona that we could buy for it we would probably be willing to do that too i think we would do a chassis uh, an aftermarket chassis for it so we really just need a good body for the car and mainly a good cab because the front end gets changed. Yeah. And the trunk can be rusted. We just need like good quarters, roof, and doors. Right? Yeah, so kind of gonna be a street car project, I think. Something, yeah. something with some serious power though. We got a really, really couple of cool a, ideas. If you're doing a chassis, we can get pretty extreme with it doing autocross. Road course autocross. This could be our first like real track car, so it could be, I don't know, but obviously we'll drag race it. Obviously we'll drift it, do burnouts, you know, the whole, whole nine yards but we got to find a car first so that is just quick video for you i think i had something else i wanted to put in this clip too it will get a foot, footprint mm. gas pedal yeah we got a footprint gas pedal but i don't know i'm excited about it that's all i guess i don't think i have anything else to do oh ball deep keychains free for the next few hours please and you order over 20 bucks but by the time you get there it could be shut down uh it, basically it all depends on if my instagram post is still up so post it on my instagram that we're doing a bog deep sale should last about a day but if the instagram post is gone by the time you're watching this video then the deal is off so we're just going until we run out we only got a couple hundred more all right that's it bog deep let her eat see you later